The paddle straight away, then. Yeah, boy. It's overgrown. Nice. Scout Star MTB. I've come up to Scotland to do a bit of mountain biking and some green laning with the boys. Uh, today we're going to be doing Dalbeatty Forest. I'm with Callum. He's driving and we've got Paul with us. He lives up here. And we've got Adam and Phil in the van behind playing chase. Uh, Callum's never been to Scotland before, have you lad? Oh, Fucking time. never to, never been. <laughs> So we're going to take him around some of the trails, show him what's what, and uh, give him a taste of Scotland. I've obviously been here a good few times, and Paul lives up here, so it is local. Should be a good day. Weather's been pretty rainy all night long, and so the trail's going to be a bit wet. But well, we're all waterproofed up, and hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, let's go. Here we are, Dalbeatty Forest. First Scottish ride for Callum. First time the wheels have touched Scottish soil. Yeah, so I've done Dalbeatty a few times with the boys. Not doing that because we're <laughs> getting caught up with them. I didn't know it went that way. Yeah, so we're up in Scotland for a pretty decent weekend. It should be going biking this morning. Obviously, we're here already, Dalbeatty Forest. And we've got some Land Rovers. Doing a bit of green laning later. I think there's plans of staying in a bothy tonight. And then maybe some more bike riding in the morning. Seeing how messed up we get tonight first. <laughs> I don't know what the weather's saying, but it should be a sick weekend, like. You riding down it, Cal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, walk mode helps, like. <laughs> Callum's first Scottish rock roll. <laughs> Going full so protection. Full enduro. <laughs> no mud guard on it, I think. Full enduro. <laughs> yeah. Time for the Insta Bango. I like the wide ones as well, you know. So we're just about to drop into one of the first descents, proper descents here at Dalbeatty. Yeah. 
And we've already taken a wrong turn. <laughs> Phil leading the way, going the wrong way. <laughs> Definitely got to keep your eyes up and look where you're going here. You don't want to focus too much on what you're riding over. And definitely look what you're gonna be riding over. Oh, that was a tight one there. I was gonna say, should I be following Phil here? Nice. Down, but I ain't doing it today when it's like this way. It does look a bit slick like, doesn't it? Yeah. And the run out as well. Sound when it's bone dry, like, but... I don't know why I've never noticed this bit before. It's probably because we're flying down that yeah, chunk, like. Yeah, we normally just do this all in the water when we've reached yeah. it. might be because it's like... Let's see how slick it is. Yeah. Looks pretty slick. Let's take you on a journey and see what this is actually like. It's a big rock face. Yeah, it's pretty sizable. It's also pretty slick with minimal run out. Let's get back down. Oh, did you find that then, Carl? It's like proper tight line choice, yeah, isn't it? Like, I like the sound, that, isn't it? It's yeah. like that for the rest of this little run. It took Roy through a pure tight line. Yeah. Rough thing. I just remember when we came on, some Phil was like bombing down further down. It was like a tight right on turn, and he just went straight over. <laughs> like, I remember you had your phone in my bag, and I got you like in the top 10 on yeah. Strava for this. <laughs> <laughs> Quality, A4 tipping phone. <laughs> Go ahead, lad. Clip the pedal straight away then. Yeah boy! Definitely line choice is key. Yeah, this was the corner Phil crashed on. Yeah, that's a good descent, that one, like, really got to keep your eyes peeled on where you're going. Grab on, lad. That's not bad. <laughs> Just get it in gear first. There we go. Nice. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like the portable off like. <laughs> it's the responsibility of the only guy with the e-bike. Yeah, I'm loving e-bike life. Loving it. Especially now. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Caught the cranks on that rock then. And then wheel spinning. <laughs> Too much torque. I think you definitely need to practice your climbing skills. You can't just power up stuff. Oh, that's a hole I can't ride down. <laughs> What? <laughs> Where are you taking me again? Oh, I'm terrible for following Phil. Tight and rocky. Yeah, I'm sure this is like a little off-piste Enduro trail. I think it's gonna be a bit slick. And if I remember, there's a proper off-camber section, isn't there? And then like a big steep chute to the end. And it's overgrown. <laughs> oh shit. Spiky, spiky brambles. Get out the way, get out the way. Yeah, they're like just off there down. I think you can also, right there. Yeah, there's like a log tree across the trail a bit further up. You've got to go round and then it takes you up on the left hand side of us. Yeah, like here, and then it comes out and you cross over the road and go down there. Let's have a quick goosey. Oh, it looks slick, real slick. That should be interesting. Real slick, lad. And then, yeah, come down there. Boost our trail mode. Boost That's it. it. I think trail mode. It's not even a question in my mind. I'll just be boost the whole time. Yeah, right. just fucking wheel spin on that, like. Me grip, you know. You know, it's damp enough. Oh, there we go. What's happening? Yeah, normally you gotta push up this track. Everybody else is. Whoa! <laughs> Wheel spinning already. Spoke, wow. spoke too soon. Let's get it in walk mode. It's in walk mode, but it doesn't go very fast. <laughs> Can you adjust the speed on walk mode? No. In gear, yeah. That's a good idea. Man. Yeah, do you remember last time we were here and the trees were howling? Yeah. Looking like they're about to fall on us. High Super high winds. Well. Come on, walk mode. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm pushing it faster than it's going. Like, has this trail got a name or anything? Trail with no name, probably, yeah. The trail with no name, we'll call it. <laughs> Wasn't it? Was, was one of them called Yellow Barrel or something? Yeah, it's got a little further up. It's like a decent little e bike terrace. Dropping it. So the trail with no name, that will be. <laughs> <laughs> Not even bothering. <laughs> Oh, it's real tight. 
tight. Slippy. Slippy as fuck, like. She needs to keep the front wheel loose. Not loose, but light over these roots. over there definitely Is this the one which has got that bit of a traverse? It's like yeah. proper off camber. Yeah. And then the last bit at the end is like super it's fucking steep runner. Like That's the next one, Dan. Really yeah, that we oh, mean. That, you that, just that, flew down blind. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that's that one. I wasn't sure if that's what I was thinking of, but. Just because if it's that one, I'll watch out for it more, you know what I mean? Well, even this one's like proper off camber and narrow tire wide, fucking like, whoa, yeah, shit. Yeah, I tend to go like right crank down and then just kind of dip, the, dip the bike like. Over the traverse. With the occasional foot dab through. Yeah, they are good, these trails, yeah, like. That's true, Is this the one with a big dip at the bottom of it? Where it proper tucks out at the bottom? I think that was that one. Like you do that run out and then it's the dip. It's proper rad as it comes down, there's that gully at the end and you're like, yeah. yeah. I can't actually remember where this one comes out now. I can't remember the end of this one. Game on! No, don't follow me, lad. Oh shit. Keep your eyes up, dude. Oh, not like that. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this trail. Super off camber. Wet roots. This is where it gets tricky now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna be dab. I'm gonna be dabbing. Oh, dab. Stuck. Oh, tight corner. There we go. Slick, slippy, proper Scottish. Oh, and a big shit on the floor to end it. On that <laughs> I had one dab and just like push myself side, through it. Oh, okay. I was just like scooting on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got through, put nitrogen away because you went quite high. I went down the right, so I just dabbed one foot so we could scoot through it and then just. So I like that though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good, like. Right. Not a fan of that type of traverse though, over the rocks. When it comes back on itself and goes that way. Yeah, it just like scoots it through that way. Yeah, yeah. I'd dab down. I'd put a foot down just to push myself through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna slow you down then if I'm on the hard tail. Well, I'm I wanna I'm more about getting some decent footage like so I don't wanna lead. Follow them through, follow them through for the best footage, innit? Yeah, either get in the middle or get at the back, innit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope. nope, none of us are in the right gear. <laughs> nice. Didn't bother me at all. 
the fuck I was. Just because of the past, I'm used to coming down that on earth. Yeah, I'll do that again, like. Just being able to just plow through it all. I did just plow, like. Oh, man. What? Just after I told you that your tyre was too low. Have you got a solution in it? Find out where it is. Oh, you're not going to do There's a bench just out here. We head out here. Oh, yeah, we do have to be quite You reckon I could get up there? Yeah, I reckon you could definitely get up to that last bit. Hi mate, okay? <laughs> What's the best line up here? Oh, he's not gonna do it! <laughs> Almost. Should have taken a more of a traverse across here. Yeah, I could have should have gone that way. It's the beauty of e-bikes. Yeah, boy, e-bike power! <laughs> you guys are chipping in for my new chain. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's only used one bar, let's make the most of it. Tell him that as well. Everybody's on. Come on, come on. Switch the sun and get back on. There we go. Five man training. <laughs> five man e train. Got the five man e bike train going on the go. <laughs> Everybody linking up. E bike power. Hilarious. The formation, the flying V. Funny. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Can't believe I'm pulling four people one handed <laughs> while trying to do my pocket up. <laughs> a bit of line choice further down. This one's called the Widowmaker. Oh, well, I'm going to the back. I think I remember this one. I think, yeah, we will have done this one in the past. I don't, I don't yeah, know. we have done it. Have done it yeah, is this the one with like the, the wall? There's like the old wall that's all broken oh, down yeah. next to it as yeah, you have to stop it here. Yeah. No, so that's, 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 that's the top that. section of it. Ah. We're just on the lower section of it. We're just higher up. Section. I get you. It's more of a beast to get to the top of. Dropping in on the Widowmaker. The, over, the overgrown Widowmaker. It's dark in the woods here. Oh, oh. Big puddle. Yeah, battery died halfway. Or a quarter of the way down this run. Quick battery swap. And we're up and running again. Get these gloves on. Everyone waiting on me. As usual. Yeah, low line on this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, drop it in. Go, go, go! Dropping in on the continuation. Oh, no, I'm not. Of the Widowmaker. Oh, super slick wet roots. Down that tree. Keep your eyes up. Lovely Scottish loam. Oh, off camber. Nice. Yes. You can see why they call this trail the Widowmaker. Get caught out and you're done. Off the front brake. Yes! Yeah, it's always a good blast around Dalbeasy Forest. You know, a nice mix of trails, some off piece stuff. Some of that off piece stuff that we've just been doing then. It's 
really good. Like, you can't beat the Scottish loam. Looks super slick, but it's pretty grippy to be fair. You just gotta watch out for the roots. Maybe Callum wheeling all the way down. Nice lad. Still going for? Yeah. I was about to get up and eat him, but not he's got no return. Trying a little steep rocky climb. Apparently you need a runner. Let's see how Paul does. Oh, sorry lad, go on. 50-50 <laughs> whether you get up it, but you just gotta go Possibly got it, that's the only way we went down following it. I should have gone in even higher gear, I'm look at what gear I'm in like doing that. <laughs> I just didn't know it was a big fucking mass and climb up. Yeah, Paul was saying you need a defo run up for it. Real rooty. Thank you, doesn't it one more? Lots <coughs> of North Shore. Lots of rocks, loads of roots. And belter on the e bike. bike over. And back to the car park. <clears throat> back at the van now after a decent little trail ride around Albiti Forest. Gotta say we've been here a few times like but it's always a good little place to come and session some stuff like Paul knows well, he's local, like, so he knows all of the little hidden trail, off-piece stuff, like, it's got some good loamy sections. We had fun. Callum, la, how was your first time in Scotland? Pretty good, enjoyed it. Can't <laughs> complain. But, yeah. Uh, good loam, I enjoyed that, nice and grippy. Yeah, Scottish Trail's treating you well, lad. Definitely. Definitely, lad. Time for some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Decent, so, yeah. Spent most of the time bloody boosting everybody around. Everyone was leeching off my battery, weren't they? Yeah. So I was at one point giving four people at once to pull up the bloody hill. It's always got a little blast in Dalbisi. So if you're down these ways, definitely recommend coming and try checking it out. Anyway, if you like what you've seen, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to check out the Insta, Scoutstar MTV. Peace.